Lord help Barbara. We still got two stacks left of eyeshadow palettes. So, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So this is my first video of 2023. I think it's been almost two months <laughs> since I filmed a video. I have just had a lot going on. I started a new job. I'm back in meat prep. It's been a lot. So... I thought I would start off the year talking about my favorite makeup product, which is eyeshadow palettes. So I have gathered all of the eyeshadow palettes that I bought in 2022 and I probably should be ashamed of myself, but I'm not. So yeah, if you are into eyeshadow palettes, then I think that you're going to enjoy this video. But before we get into it, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family, so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do a lot of hauls, a lot of nails, a lot of hair, a lot of makeup. So if you're into beauty, this is the place for you. I won't keep you waiting. If you want to see what eyeshadow palettes I bought in 2022, then stay tuned and keep on watching. It's not that I want you here. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see back there. <laughs> That's all eyeshadow palettes that we're going to talk about today. And then I also have this bin right here. It is not full full, but it's heavy. And then I'm going to start off with these singles because I don't normally buy single eyeshadows, but I just went on this kick of wanting to try a bunch of new stuff this year and really wanting to focus on stuff that I love or thought I would love instead of just buying a bunch of palettes that had shades in it that I didn't love, even though I still bought a bunch of palettes. So we're going to talk about this Carity Cosmetics. This is their XL Pro Custom Palette. It came empty. I bought a bunch of singles and a lot of them are duochromes or like super, super shiny. We are not swatching. This video would be way too long, but I wanted to go ahead and show you Actually, there's not that many in here, so I don't feel horrible. I am praying this does not fall. So these are the shadows. Uh, let's do this way. Right here. So you can see, of course, I got some blues and some greens. This color right here. You see the shifts in it. Y'all know that is my jam. So I bought some mattes, which are over on this side here. And then these are just like regular shades that I thought I would enjoy and then these are the more kind of sparkly special shades so I don't know names I'm not we're not doing all that right now I just wanted to show you guys I have this and I'm debating because I have a lot of clarity palettes I don't know if I want to take them all out of their pans and just put them in here so I can have them all in one place but then I feel like I don't know if I would ever pull this out versus knowing I would pull out a palette so to be determined. So next we're gonna start with what is in this bin. I'm going to just, I don't wanna do this this way. I'm just gonna pull them out, no particular order. This is not by the time that I purchased them or anything like that. I will say, and I should be ashamed, the reason these were easy to find or kinda easy to find, I started keeping track at the beginning of the year and then I stopped. I don't know why. It would've made my job a lot easier today, but a lot of these were in my drawer of shame back here of palettes that I've bought that I haven't tried. So it was easy for me to find them, but I did go back through my emails and Sephora orders and Ulta orders and all the indie brands. So a lot of these are still going to be in the box because they have not been used to yet. This is the Blend Bunny Cosmetics, the Dollhouse palette. This is going to make this video long because 90% of these are still in the packaging. So Oh, I thought I saw some color. So this is what the packaging looks like, just like the box. I don't know what that smudge is on the outside. Nothing better be broke. Okay, so oh, this is so pretty. This is the palette right here. I just found out about this brand this year, and I got the Surge palette. I think that might have been one of my first ones. And then I saw this, and I thought it was just so pretty with the gorgeous neutrals, a lot of mattes, and then foil shimmer shades at the top and bottom. This shade right here, of course, has been swatched. Yeah, super pretty, love all the colors, and it's like a neutral with some pops of color. 
I think this is very wearable, so I thought it was perfect for one of the first, this is actually the second palette that I got from the brand. Y'all just saw this one recently in a video. This is the Danessa Myricks Light Work 4 Transcendent Palette. Transcendence Palette. Y'all know I love this palette. I think it is absolutely beautiful. She is messy because I used her recently and was trying to make sure I got all the shades. Did three looks, I think I did. Not sure, but absolutely beautiful. Next, we have the Michaela Potts 2 Glam Light Palette. I still have not used this. I honestly, <laughs> I love green eyeshadow. So in my defense, that is why I eyeballed it in the first place. I wanted the small one, but it stayed sold out. And then I was able to get this one for the price of the small one at CVS of all places. So went ahead and picked her up. This is so pretty. This low key kind of reminds me of like, a colorful version of the blend bunny palette a little bit i don't know maybe just because i'm seeing colors right now but gorgeous shades in here have not even swatched this one so i can tell y'all right now and i think i said this last year too but i'm gonna do better i promise i'm trying to not be so impulsive with my purchases and really start focusing on using what i have or doing some more declutters and getting rid of stuff that I'm not using. I want to be more intentional with my makeup, more intentional with how I use it and using it more often. So that will definitely help me. But this next palette is from Glamnatrix Cosmetics and this is the Nearly Natural palette. I saw this palette and it was not even a question of whether or not I was going to get it because I thought it was so pretty. This is the packaging. And these shades, have I swatched it? Y'all, I used like a few shades in here. Just one day playing in it to see. But this is so pretty. So pretty. Love all the shades. These shades are really dark to help smoke it out. But I feel like there's a good mix of cool tones and warm tones in it. And I think that is the thing that attracted me to it. Plus anything that has some greens like this, y'all know I'm going to lose my mind. So gorgeous palette and definitely glad that I picked this one up. This is another palette that I have not used and got more recently. This is the Cosmic Beauty, I think is the name of it, the Serenity palette. This was an impulse. I said I was gonna do better and then I did an impulse buy, but I kept seeing this and everybody was talking about how amazing it was and how beautiful the colors were and I totally got sucked in. I'm not even gonna lie. So this is what it looks like. I'm trying to make sure my lights don't wash the colors out because it is extremely colorful and it's just I love that there's some super deep grungy shades but then the pops of color there's also kind of like some pastels in it so yeah never tried this brand before and I think because there was a sense of scarcity with it going in and going in stock and then going out of stock when it finally came back in stock that's what made me buy it this is a palette that I went back and forth on for a really long time and I finally bit the bullet because I found it at Marshall's for eight dollars BH Cosmetics blueberry muffin palette I don't know why I think I saw somebody talking about this palette and they were talking about how much they loved it and how good it was and the formula and yada 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 and I just got sucked in and I found it for eight dollars so how can you pass that up if you've been thinking about it and it's something that you think you want you know so yeah that was my reason for this purchase have I used it mm -mm. I've swatched it but she has not been used yet we got one out of the package. This is the Ace Beauté Tropical Vibes palette. I did a video on this one. I love this palette. The formula is amazing. Color story is beautiful. I just, I mean, y'all know me and my greens. So I don't even think it was a question whether or not I was going to get this. And I bought it when it first came out. I didn't have to wait for a second run. Like I wanted it immediately. Another Glamnatrix Cosmetics palette. This is the Nocturnal palette. And y'all, I'm gonna tell you, they get you really, really well with their marketing and their online swatches because they make everything look so beautiful. And so I just feel like I have to have it. This has kind of like a suede kind of, oh, uh, what, Barbara, packaging, whatever, cover, you know. It's, it's green, so that helps. 
I have not used this one yet either and I don't like that I'm looking at this and there is fallout and dust right here but this color story again kind of reminds me a little bit of subculture which y'all know is one of my all-time favorite color stories so got some multi-chromes in here absolutely beautiful shades it's deep it's grungy it's green all the things that i love so i had to have this one too next i got this on boxy charm probably the only reason why i bought it I heard a lot of good things about the formula, so I wanted to try it, and I'm kind of wishing, this is, hold on, <laughs> the Persona Identity 2 palette. I'm kind of wishing I would've got the first one because the first one is a little more cool toned, but at the time when I got this one, I just felt like, I don't know, I thought I was gonna like this one better, and honestly, if I take out this gold, I would probably like it better. But I bought it and I was just like, I don't understand. I mean, it's nice. Have I actually used it? I don't even remember. So I don't know. I need to use it, but I bought it because it was on sale on BoxyCharm. I did not pay full price for it, but I got it because I wanted to try the formula and I haven't yet, I don't think. So yeah, this is another TJ Maxx Marshalls one of those two buys this is the bh cosmetics venom palette i bought this when i went on my little cool tone kick and i thought i liked this shade right here the most but i thought the color story was interesting it's different from anything else i have in my collection and it was really discounted y'all know tj maxx marshall's always has everything on sale so i just i grabbed it on a whim Next, I have the Notoriously Morbid Rusted Essence Palette. I have not used this yet. I just thought this color story was really, really pretty. And I think this might be the only palette that I have from them. I'm not sure. I know it's the most recent. And I heard reviews weren't that great on it. So it kind of makes me nervous because I haven't used it. But I just thought the color story was pretty. Looks very fall-ish. So right in line with about the time that it came out. I remember shipping took a while. It was a lot of mess. And that's the only thing that's kind of making me hesitant about continuing to purchase from some of the smaller indie brands or doing pre-orders. I'm done with that. Unless it's something that is like I have to have everything in my body is screaming that it needs to be in my collection. I'm not doing it. I don't have the patience. But yeah i need to try this one soon next i have the viseart viseart however y'all say that this is the bijouette palette i had this upstairs in my vanity for a while so she has gotten some use i will be honest and say i have not used any of like the really pops of color i've just been using it as a neutral palette my day-to-day -day is neutral i will throw a bronzer in my crease put on some mascara and go about my business I want a little more amped up might put a little color on my lid might put a matte just to brighten it up which I wish this shade was lighter so I could do that with this palette but I like the color story of it and so that's why I picked it up another Marshall's purchase so the Venom one was Marshall's as well because I got these at the same time this was nine dollars this is the Morphe 9W smoke and shadow palette still in the packaging because I have not used it and I now know that Morphe's supposed to be going out of business I don't know what happened I don't care <laughs> I have a few Morphe palettes in my collection I don't have any issues with Morphe I know their palettes are sometimes hit and miss it is what it is it's an inexpensive brand so take that with a grain of salt make you some beautiful looks I like this color story Beautiful for cool tone, grungy, smoky, exactly what it says. Next, I have the Uoma Beauty Black Magic Freedom Palette. Y'all, when I saw this, it, this is one of the ones that it was not even a question. I needed to get it. I ordered it from their website. And of course, I had to order some other stuff with it too because I'm not paying for shipping and only buying one thing. Who does that? This is what the palette looks like. I absolutely love that they had all neutrals. At the bottom, you can make a nice matte neutral look. And then these shades up here, of course, this one and this one, you already know. But I've been gravitating towards shades like this. Also, like there's no gold in here. Like everything about this palette screamed, I would use this. And I have. So 
definitely glad that I got this one. And this is my second Uomo Beauty palette. I know I have two for sure, but I think that's it. This is a palette that I bought on Poshmark, Mercari, and then it came back in stock and I could have got it, whatever. I got it new. This is the NARS Climax palette. I had to have this. I saw the color story and I was so mad that I missed out on it. This is like gorgeous fall, kind of grungy, the greens. This has been what I gravitate towards. And even like I love shades like this on the lid. Not necessarily like, I mean, this one I have on is a little more champagne gold than what I normally do, but it's still gorgeous. This is Natasha Denona. Oh, which one is it? I'll put it on the screen because I don't remember, but I decided to use it today, the whole palette for the first time, and I love it. Um, but yeah, I love the color story of this one. So I went to Mercari to try to find it, and then it came back in stock, and I think now it's gone again. So I'm just glad I have it. This next one, I told myself I didn't need. I told myself I wasn't going to get, and then I got it. This is the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I am a Natasha Denona fan, so it's kind of hard for me to pass up her palettes, and especially if they have a duo slash multi-chrome, whatever you want to call it. I think this one was just a duo, but it's still. Um, yeah, and it's the shade that I actually like. It's like that pink kind of lilac shifts to greenish but even still like all the rest of the colors in here i could wear every single one of these on my skin tone they will show up like take this out <laughs> i wonder if i can switch this with a shade from another palette i might i say i'm gonna do that but my ocd doesn't let me so i don't know but i just feel like all these shades are perfect they go well together. This is Natasha Denona's dream palette. And honestly, like, I could see it being my dream palette too. Like if I had to make one with some greens. Next, I think the video is up of this review already. This is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 eyeshadow palette. I got the first one. I did not like it. I brought it back. And then this one came out and they literally got me because of two shades. I ain't even gonna lie. I like, again, that this is a neutral palette. The colors are warmer, but this shade, this shade, th these three right here, you have me at hello. You have me at kind of shifty. They're not really, I don't even know if y'all can see this. Um, they're not really, no, that's blinding. Uh, they're not really multi-chrome or duochrome, but I don't know, something about the glitter and the sparkles that are in it just make it look like it is, and they are so foiled on the lid. My Sephora VIB haul try on video that I just uploaded beginning of January, that video has a review of this in it. So if you want to see, check it out, but I love this palette. Okay, so I moved everything, so it's right here in front of me. Next, I have the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. I do feel like this was another impulse buy because this has a lot of golds. And I don't know, I wear them and I feel like they look okay on me, but it's not like the first thing that I gravitate towards whenever I am looking for an eyeshadow palette. But I just loved how deep and sultry this palette was. And so, ooh, she's beautiful. I just felt like I had to have it. So you can take that out and you can take that out. Other than that, this palette is speaking my language. It kind of reminds me of Natasha. Maybe that's why I love it. The color story is very similar to the Natasha Denona. So I think that's why I fell in love with it. There's some cool tones. There's some warm tones. You can do a nice everyday neutral look. You can amp it up with these shimmer shades. These special, this is a liquid in here. <laughs> I ain't even tried it yet. So I don't know how those work, but love that this palette has a black, but then it also has a dark gray and a dark brown. That is very rare, I feel like, to see that it captures not just a black or not just a brown or not just a dark gray so all three in one i think the color story is beautiful so i need to use this soon next i have the dior backstage this is the eyeshadow palette in khaki neutrals this is the only dior eyeshadow palette that i have and of course i picked the one with the greens because i wanted to make sure it was something that i was going to wear 
but also not too similar to something that I have already. So if I can open her, this is what it looks like. She's cute. I have not worn her yet. This appears actually a cream shade, which I don't think I realized when I first picked it up, but she has a gold. Don't love that, but everything else about this I love. I think, personally, if I was making this palette, I probably would have made this a dark brown to kind of give you another option to go with a neutral look with an option to smoke it out with a dark brown as opposed to only this dark green. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a girl who loves makeup. That's just what I would have done. I can take this out of the packaging. This is the Sephora Pocket Palette. This is in the plum tones. This is what I had on in my last Target haul video. I was very surprised by this palette. I think it is super cute. I had this shade on my lid and I filmed the look and then I deleted it, very stupid. So I'm going to film it again because I did a full face of Sephora and I used this and I was very surprised at the performance of this palette. So super cute. I don't think you can get it anymore though. Crap, then maybe I might not film it again. Or maybe I will anyway, and you can just find some purples that are similar. But yeah, super cute palette. Next is the Beauty Bakery Bite Size Get That Dough Eyeshadow Palette. I picked this up in Target. I used this in a drugstore Get Ready With Me. Again, cute palette, neutrals, warm toned. I was surprised to see this in Target, and that's why I picked it up, because I do have other Beauty Bakery palettes that I've gotten from Ulta. Maybe from Beauty Bakery too, if I've ordered from them. I don't know, but I just wanted to see how this formula compared to the palettes that I've gotten from the brand or from Ulta. And it's the same, and it's in the drugstore. So if you wanna try Beauty Bakery, great option right here. This little cutie is the Viseart Paris Etoile palette. Super gorgeous, cool toned, purples, grays. This is a navy blue. Oh, these colors are showing so well today. Thank you, camera. Um, it was cute, it was cool toned, it had some purples. So I think I was just, I had a coupon at, give me a minute, Muse Beauty, Muse Beauty Pro. And so I bought this and I bought, I think that's where I got the Bijouet palette from and some other stuff. So. Just thought it was cute and wanted to add more of these shadows to my collection. <sighs> this is one of the last palettes I bought of the year. Lunar Beauty, 12 Days of Lunar. I bought the advent calendar and I was mad. I was so mad when I was unboxing it because I was like, don't none of this match with the color story of the packaging. And this is what I wanted to see. This is the palette right here. Can y'all see that I have put some dents in some of these shades? I've been wearing this. So I have to say, I kind of like it. I love the formula. I already knew I was gonna love the formula. I have used the mattes. I love just throwing this in my crease. I will grab this black anytime. I had it upstairs. I was making sure that I tried it out. I'll grab this black anytime I wanna deepen something up. It can be used lightly, just for like a dark kind of, not too smoky versus like really packing it on and it being black. But these shades up here, so gorgeous. Very shiny, very foily, very sparkly. So I don't love that it doesn't match the packaging, but the shadows themselves are absolutely beautiful. We have two Pat McGrath palettes that I bought this year. Did this one come out this year? Uh, I don't remember if I'm wrong. Y'all comment and let me know, but... I think this came out in 2022. This is Mothership 9, Utopian Dream. I could probably check, cause I'm pretty sure I did a review on it. Oh no, I think this was 2021. Mm, hold on, I lie. That was 2021, cause I did a review and I did some looks with it. So let me just package her back up real quick because she does not belong in this video but this one does this is mothership 10 moonlit seduction i wasn't gonna buy this palette 
I told myself the colors were boring, they were plain, and there is a multi-chrome shade in here, and I was like, Barbie, you're not about to spend almost $130 for one shade. Then I saw Jamila do a review on it, and I was like, mm, okay, you talked me into it. I did get it on sale, not enough of a sale. I bought it from Sephora for 20% off, and then if I would have waited, I could have got it for 30 or 35% off from Pat McGrath. So if you wanna buy Pat McGrath stuff, it's kind of catch-22. If you wait for a sale, nine times out of ten you can get it, but every now and then stuff sells out really quick and then you can't. So I didn't know what was going to happen, but this is what the palette looks like right here. She is very understated. Like, I could probably come up with a look similar to what I have on with the shades in here, but that freaking shade right there. Oh, don't you stick your nail in there. Um, is what got me because of how it shifts. And I just, I had to have it. I had to. So I never regret buying Pat McGrath. It is what it is. I don't have the only, I'm trying to think. I think there's two of her big palettes that I don't have. I don't have Decadence, which is the all shimmer one, even though I have looked at it a few times. And that's just the collector in me, not that I actually want it. And then I don't have Divine Rose because I don't want it. I got two, but I didn't want that one. So, yeah, this is one that I kind of went back and forth about. And then I pulled the trigger and no regrets. This next palette, this is actually still in the bubble wrap because this is going to go in a giveaway. I'm not going to pull it out, but I can put a picture of it here on the screen. This is the Natasha Denona Ayana palette. I have one of these upstairs in my bathroom on the vanity. Absolutely love it. One of my favorites. So when I was able to get another one on BoxyCharm, I think, on sale, I was like, somebody else needs to experience this too. So this will be in a giveaway coming up at some point. This is also another palette that I absolutely love. I have one of my own and I bought one for a giveaway. So still in the packaging, Violet Voss, Olive You Forever. I have so much trouble saying that. I'll insert a picture here. I told y'all about me and my greens. So I had to have this. And if you're a green lover, you're gonna enjoy this. There are enough neutrals that you can enjoy it if you don't love greens, but come on, you're gonna love it. Great formula. This next palette I almost forgot about because I haven't filmed the haul yet <laughs> for it. So it's sitting over here. Um, this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Whimsical what? Nudes palette. I think this was my first Laura Lee Los Angeles eyeshadow palette. And guess why I bought it? Because it has a green in it. It's a neutral palette, but I thought it was really, really, oh, I forgot how pretty this was. I have not used this yet. I haven't even swatched it because I will probably do that in my haul video, but I'm trying to make sure it's back enough so you guys can see the shades. These two are kind of similar, but they're different enough. And then you have a black and then like this gray, almost kind of slightly green shade, and then an olive green, and then this green, and then this gorgeous, like beautiful transition shade, nice light shade to put on the lid. Like, I absolutely love the color story of this. It's given me Shayla's bridal with dose of colors, kind of, a little bit, with some green. And now that I'm looking at this, I was still thinking about buying Shayla's collab palette. I know I don't need it. I know it's basic, but it's still pretty, and I love dose of colors formula, so that's why. But now looking at this, I realize I don't need it, so we're just going to stick with this one. Next, I have the Alien Cosmetics. I think that's the new name. I'm not sure. I know there was a change. But that's what it says on the box. Poison Apple Palette. I don't know why I bought this. I don't know if this was like a filler not to pay for shipping, although I probably paid for shipping anyway. Or did I actually like the color story? I like the color story. I need to use my stuff, y'all. That's what I'm saying. I need to slow down on buying and I need to use my stuff. This is what it looks like. Of course, this big old shade. These are some big old pans. Shade in the middle definitely got me. Of course, there's some greens. I haven't used this yet. I have no idea what the formula is like. I get caught up in color stories. I don't need this. I could have done without it. What would I have put? I don't know. I mean, I guess it kind of goes. 
I don't know what shade I would have put there, but I don't like that one. So <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. But yeah, I picked this palette up mainly for this shimmer shade in the middle. Unearthly Cosmetics, is that the same as Alien? I think it is. I don't know. I think it is. Anyway, the Fall Magic palette, this was one... Again, not even trying the formula, the color story got me and I was just like, I need to have it. I, was that broken? I think it was. This shade might have come broken. I don't know if you can see how bumpy it is. Um, I have swatched this, but I haven't used it. But I just, this is such a, it's weird because it's not like punchy colors, but they're deep. And I feel like it is very fall appropriate which is what it's supposed to be. And I just, I love color stories like this because I feel like I could get a super grungy look and then add a pop of color, add a pop of color, pop of color. So yeah, color story got me. It happens a lot. I did a giveaway with this palette because I ended up with two of them. This one and the next one I'm gonna talk about. So I decided to share, but I ordered the Alien Cosmetics All I Ever Wanted palette this is supposed to be all multi-chrome shadows. I have not swatched them and I feel like when I'm like tilting them, normally I can kind of see some of them I can, some of them I can't. So kind of makes me worried, but either way, in my head, I'm thinking if I pull my Viseart neutral matte palette and have this, I could create endless looks absolutely gorgeous looks so again haven't tried the formula but i heard a lot of people talking about how great these were and i saw the shifts online and hopefully that is real life another unearthly cosmetics palette i saw this online it was out of stock for a long time as soon as it came back i wanted it this is the lore palette again with these big old pans i love that you can take them out though i wonder if I took something out, we're not doing that right now. If I took something out of the other palette and put it here or vice versa, whatever. But I love this color story. I saw it. I wanted it. I think it's gorgeous. This orange could actually be a decent color for a transition shade. I don't really feel like, I mean, sure, you could get a complete look, but I just feel like it's kind of all over the place. But I like how it looks in the pans, in the palette if that makes sense. So no rhyme or reason. I just love the color story and I got this as soon as it came back in stock. This palette I'm excited to have. This is the Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels palette. This is the collaboration they deal with, did with Mel Thompson before she passed away. I was going to buy this. I kept looking at it and then I kind of thought that the color story wasn't going to be dark enough for my skin tone for what I like. And Jamila actually did a giveaway on her channel and I won and I was dying because I rarely ever win anything. And this is something I really, really wanted. So big thank you to her and to the makeup gods for gifting me this palette. So this is what it looks like. Now that I have it in person, it is definitely dark enough. So I'm glad about that because other than this gold, Every shadow in here, I could see myself using. I think this is so pretty. I feel like this is like that, what is it called? Blue brown, not blue brown. I don't know, that shade that like was so popular forever. Um, I love this shade, shades like this. I just think it's a beautiful color story and I am glad that it's in my collection. Probably will never leave for nostalgia purposes and also for Mel's memory. Next is the Juvia's Place Nubian Coral Palette. This was strictly a FOMO collector. I want this palette because I have a lot of Juvia's Place. And this one kind of had a cool toned color story. And so I felt like I should have it. That's all. I waited till it went on sale and I grabbed it. Haven't used it yet, but I still think it's beautiful. So I'll get to it one of these days. Another brand I found this year that I absolutely fell in love with is Lethal Cosmetics. I gotta get my other palette. This is one of their pre-made palettes. This is the Velvet Dusk. I picked this up when I did a haul. 
have not used it yet, but this color story right here literally looks like fall. Very reminiscent of the Fall Magic palette. So I made my own palette with them. It was my money, not gifted to me. Got to pick whatever colors I wanted and I absolutely love the formula. So then I decided to get some of their pre-made ones. So this is one of the ones that I picked up. The other one that I picked up is the Night Flower. This one came out, I thought it was gorgeous, I missed it, and then it came back and I got it. Purple Heaven. This low-key kind of reminds me of the Menagerie Cosmetics Fight Club palette, which I bought in 2020, probably 2020, if not 2021, and I still have not used that palette. I just thought it was so pretty, I had to have it, and it's just been sitting. So <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all my basket of shame, which is probably gonna have a lot of these in there. So it'll be a little repetitive, but you'll see some of these palettes I've had for years. I should be ashamed. I just haven't used them yet. So this is absolutely gorgeous. Next, I lusted over this palette forever. This is the Batty Bean and Shroud Cosmetics It's Freaking Bats palette. I did not get it when it first came out. I was so mad at myself and I had FOMO. And then when they came out with the Hollow Bean palette this year, they restocked this one. I got this one. I did not get Hollow Bean. I did not want it. But I think I ordered just this by itself. And that is very rare that I do that. But y'all, I don't know what it is about this color story because I feel like it doesn't even go <laughs> together. But just the way it looks in the palette and I feel like the colors match the freaking packaging. I just thought it was so pretty. I love this color right here. I don't know how it's going to look on my skin tone, but I thought it was beautiful. So yeah, I had to get this. Up next, I finally bought some stuff from Beauty Bay this year. Never purchased from them before. I got the Earthy palette. I picked the 16 pan one. The nine was cute, but I felt like it wasn't enough and I didn't want the big one. So I felt like this was a great in-between and it is all greens. I'm not even sure how much I'm gonna wear this to be honest. It was kind of an impulse buy, but I wanted to try the formula. And there are some shades in here that I feel like are different from what I have in my collection. I love the different shades of green, of course, but I don't know why I feel like this color right here is like really calling me. I don't know, it's like a taupey green and I don't think I have anything like that. So haven't tried this yet, know nothing about the formula, but of course I needed to have it because it was green. The other palette that I picked up when these came out is the Midnight palette. And I got this one because purple is my other favorite color and blue has been having me in a chokehold lately. I have been loving me some royal blue like this right here, all the yes. So blue and purple right here in one palette. Yes, I'll take it, thank you. This is the other palette I got from Beauty Bay. This is the Martine Cosmetics 669 palette. This packaging is very interesting. It's a velvet box. Thought that was cool, but y'all, this color story. Uh, uh, uh. Ugh, grungy, green, ugh, gray, cool tone, yes. Haven't used it yet, don't know if it's good or not, but she's pretty. I'm also going to include this. This is my Lethal Cosmetics Custom Palette. So this one is the one that, ooh, she looked dusty. I picked and made, picked all the shades on my own. There are a couple face shades in here but these shades right here were the ones that I picked for myself I didn't do that great of a job with picking a shade that could be used as a transition shade I thought these were not going to be as dark as they are totally caught me off guard but I love all of these shades I think all of the shimmer shades yes all of the shimmer shades in here are multi-chrome dual chrome shades and then the mattes were just shades that I thought would complement those multi-chromes well. So absolutely love this, worth every penny. All right, moving to some little cuties we have right here. This is the Colored Rain Wealthy Chic Palette, another green palette that I have not tried yet. I love the Colored Rain formula, so I'm not worried about if I think this is gonna be good or not, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of the, which I also have, 
Matter of fact, let's compare because this just goes to show I probably didn't need both. The Juvie's Place Rebel Army Palette. This is the green one. So Juvie's Place only has four. This one has six. Eh, not too similar. I feel like I can justify having, <laughs> I feel like I could justify having both of these. So yeah, if we sat down and talked about all my greens, whatever, I don't want to hear it. No negativity in 2023, but yes, this was one that I purchased in 2022. And then also the Juvia's Place. This one is dark and grungy. No light neon yellow green, just super straight grunge. Absolutely beautiful. I finally bit the bullet and bought this palette. I lusted after it. I kept telling myself I didn't need it. And then every time I saw it, I was mad that I didn't have it. So Juvie's Place, this is the Violets. Yeah, the Violets. Looking at this kind of reminds me of the Beauty Bay Midnight palette. Shrugs. I don't care. I wanted it. I got it on sale and I'm happy about it. This is another palette that I thought I wanted. I saw it. Saw a review on it, decided I didn't want it, talked to the person who reviewed it. They told me I needed to have it. <laughs> Jamila, I feel like you owe me some money, girl. I don't know. <laughs> I buy so much stuff from your recommendation and from Lynette. I will put both of their channels in my description box so you guys can check them out. But those two are like the devils on my shoulder telling me I need to have it. I need to have it. This is the Druid palette from Fantasy Cosmetica. It's the color story for me. What does this look like? It's absolutely beautiful. I need to pull this upstairs and use it because I don't know. Like I feel like sometimes I put stuff up because I want to film with it before I use it. I don't know why that's stupid. And then I don't film as much as I should. Not makeup looks anyway because I feel like those don't get as many views as like my hauls and stuff. But I need to just bring them and start using them. And then I can still use it when I film. Stop tripping. So this one's coming upstairs because I need to use her. Next is the Colored Rain Rose Garden. I bought this for a Mother's Day set, I think it was. And I got it honestly because, yes, I do like the shades. Haven't worn it yet. Only swatched it. But I think it is really pretty and you can get a complete look out of it. And of course, I love that they have a green. But I also got this because it was like 40 bucks and it came with this and some lip colors that I wanted. So I thought it was a great deal. And yeah, haven't tried it yet. I don't think. Have I worn this? No, those are fingers. That's swatches. I haven't worn it, but I'm going to bring her upstairs too. She's cute. Next, I have one more. Here it is. Next, I have three palettes from Sugar Drizzle. I told you guys that in 2022, I was planning on buying more indie brand makeup. And so I did that. Now the problem is I bought them and haven't used them. So in 2023, you're going to see these. This first one is the Gnome Chrome Halloween palette. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I bought this to help with shipping. It's cute. Um, I just struggle with, I'm a visual person, so I don't feel like you're going to get a complete look out of this palette. So it's probably not going to get reached for a lot, but I wanted to try some of the other colors besides the main two reasons that I wanted to order from this brand. So this has a lot more color options than the next two palettes I'm about to show you, but I haven't tried it yet. So I don't know, but she's cute. This is one of the main reasons I ordered. This is the Pickle Palette. This is Lynette's fault. This is so pretty. This is a multi-chrome. What's this one? This is a multi-chrome. This is a multi-chrome. That's all I need to say. It's pretty. I love the shades. I think it's different, especially having this pinkish shade that kind of goes to a yellow green. Hope you guys can see that but and then oh purple blue like she's doing a lot and i love multi-chrome so that is why i got this palette and then last but not least i got the sugar drizzle which is is this just the sugar drizzle i don't know the name of this palette but this is one of the ones that 
put them on the radar for me. This whole thing, I think it's supposed to be multi-chromes. And so I needed to have it. That is the only thing I can say anytime it's multi-chrome, nine times out of 10, swipe, don't think twice. So hadn't tried them, swatched them, but haven't tried them. This is another palette that I lusted over, told myself I didn't need, have this color story 50 times over in the 200 plus palettes that I have, and I still wanted it. Juvia's Place Chocolates. I've seen so many people use this, and I think it's called the Instagram baddie look, where it's just a dark chocolate brown smoky eye with big lashes, and I feel like this palette is used and is perfect for that. So... This is the perfect chocolate palette. I haven't even swatched this and I need to bring this upstairs because I feel like these two shades, this one's a little warmer than this one, but this is just, it's perfect. And honestly, I haven't used this one, but I still want the new coffee, is it called? Coffee Collection palette that they came out with. Very similar to this, but expanded and I still want it. And I'm probably going to get it if I'm honest. I don't care. It's cute. I want it. This next palette, I'm trying to remember why she is in the packaging because I don't know if I bought this for me or a giveaway. No, no, no. This is for me. <laughs> this is for me. I thought I was going to put it in a giveaway. I have the Love palette from Natasha Denona. This is the Cupid palette and I have not used it yet and I remember thinking that I might put it in a giveaway. But I'm keeping her. I'm keeping it. It is cute. It's almost similar to what I have on right now, except the one I have on has a brown in it versus this just has this kind of dark cranberry shade. But yeah, no, I'm keeping her. She's cute. Ooh, this video is long. Okay, keep going. Too Faced, that's my jam. Cosmetics company store. I think it was Too Faced by any six products for 60 bucks no matter what they were so I thought this was cute because this shade kind of looks duochrome-ish and then this shade down here I love shades like that and she's pretty it's purples and pinks and greens so I yeah just put it in the cart I love this palette this is the Huda Beauty Wild Obsessions Jaguar palette this was in my travel bag so you know it is real if it's in the travel bag she has been worn, absolutely love this shade right here. Just so sparkly and pretty. Love this kind of green taupey shade, transition shade, light cream shade, black, purple, green. Yes, love this palette. This is the Fenty Beauty. Is this the only Fenty eyeshadow I have? Pretty sure it is. This is one of the snap shadows and this is in number seven, Cadet. I got this one because it was kind of like the army green military color story. Cute little packaging and I feel like, ooh, she hard to open. Let me break my nail. I was a little underwhelmed when I got it. It's cute, but I don't know. I don't even know if I've really worn this to be honest. So let me take that back. I shouldn't say the color story just doesn't like make me be like, ooh, I need to use this, but it's cute. Kinda, no, I don't know. It doesn't remind me of anything else. I don't know. So I just need to try it. But I think I just remember when it came in, I was like, oh, that's it. So I'm gonna bring this upstairs. Okay, we got, <laughs> we still got <laughs> Lord help Barbara. We still got two stacks left of eyeshadow palettes. So is that really? I don't know about that. There's one in here I'm not sure about. It might have been, oh no, I don't know. I feel like it was 2021, but I'm gonna show it anyway, just in case. So, but this is for sure 2022. Heather Austin palette with Adept Cosmetics. Did a review on this. Y'all know I love it. Gorgeous. Kind of gives me subculture vibes. Love all of it. Beautiful. Next, ordered from the website directly. This is the Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions palette. I knew I didn't need this, but I am a Melt Cosmetics fan. And this one is greens. Oh, she's so pretty. So pretty. 
that's all I have to say. I finally just stopped going back and forth about it and I bought it. <sighs> this next one, where's the other one? Yeah, this next one, I hated that I missed this a long time ago. And then it came back out again this year, last year. And I was just like, how soon can I click the button? Gemini by Melt Cosmetics. This is so beautiful. Fall in a palette, green, neutrals. There is no yellow gold. I love this shade right here. I don't remember if I just swatched it. I think I did. I have not done a look with this yet, but Melt, so pigmented. Mattes are insane. They can be a little difficult, but like, I don't know. I just feel like keep swirling your brush and it'll blend. That's how I feel about it. So the formula of the metallics is insane and I just feel like I needed to have this. I also picked up the Gemini 2 palette. I bought the bundle. So I got these together and I did do a look. I know I had it on in a video, but I'm not sure if I filmed it. I don't remember, y'all let me know. But this is what it looks like right here. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love that it's more of like that berry, but it also has the greens in it. So super glad I have this insane pigmentation. Y'all already know there are only two shimmer shades in here. All the rest are matte. So if you love mattes, you're gonna love this. This next palette I have also not used yet. This is also from Adept Cosmetics and this is the Amunet palette. I think I got this after I got the Heather Austin palette and because I like that one so much, I was like, I want more. This kind of reminds me, I'm looking at these shades right here, kind of reminds me of the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream palette, um, but it's cool toned. I feel, oh, this is the dark one. Yeah, there's a light one and a dark one. This is the dark one. I love just that it has this pop of blue. Kind of looks like, does it really belong? But I feel like it'll help bring some depth and just a little bit of an unexpected like, oh, I see some color in there, but it's also dark. So haven't used this yet, but I think it's so pretty. And there are multi-chromes in it. Did I mention that? I don't think I did. Multi-chrome, multi-chrome. That's not a multi-chrome, is it? Multi-chrome. <laughs> so yeah, even more reason. I could take this out the box. I don't know if I've done a look with it and maybe that's why it's still in the box, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. I have worn this. I do love this. No regrets at all about purchasing it. Color story is a little basic, but it's absolutely beautiful. The formula, the old Anastasia formula, love all the shades. All the shades are wearable. And of course there's some greens, so yeah, right up my alley. This is a, did I say one of these already? I feel like I have, I don't know. Clarity Cosmetics, this is the Bloom palette. She is so pretty. This is, it says it's a pressed pigment palette. These are some big old pans, and we all know I'm never gonna use all of it, but I just thought the color story was gorgeous. I feel like that's a multi-duo, minimum duo chrome. I think that's the only one in there, but I just thought this color story was really pretty. It's different in terms of what I see all together in a palette, not different from like, could I pull these from each different palette? I don't do that. I don't have the patience to go looking. I want it all in one. Thought this was gorgeous. This is another palette from Adept Cosmetics. This is the Plain Jane Remastered. Have not used her either, but again, there are some multi-chromes in here. Is this all shimmers? She is all shimmers. Hmm, I don't know if I knew that when I bought it, but she's gonna be, is this all multi-chrome? Y'all see what I'm saying? Play with your palettes, Barbara. You would know this if you actually tried it. <laughs> it's beautiful. I would have to get a matte palette to use with it, but yeah, she's cute. I need to try this very soon. I really feel like this palette I bought in the, at the end of 2021 because I remember going to the cosmetics company store here when I first moved here, but I don't remember if it was end of the year, beginning of the year. So I'll just show it real quick. This is 
something you probably can't get anymore, Lancome, the Mert and Marcus After Dark palette. She's big, she's heavy. This reminds me, y'all remember Urban Decay Smoked? This is kind of giving me those vibes and I think that's why I wanted it because I had smoked and I decluttered it and I've kind of regretted it now that I am a little better with makeup, a lot better from back when I had that, Lord. Um, but I just kind of regretted that I got rid of it, not really knowing how to use darker eyeshadows. And so now I do and I think this is going to be very pretty when I want to do a smoky look. This next palette... I uh, think it was 2022, I think. I think I got it at the same time as the other one. This is the Too Faced Marielle Amore Caliente palette. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I only bought this because I needed to buy it to make like the six, the ten, six products for 60 bucks. I don't know. I don't know that I would honestly like gravitate towards this. I'm probably going to pull it out and try it, but this is just not something that I normally would be like, oh, I want that palette, but I love like they have this dark kind of red burgundy shade. And so I thought it's different. It's a, it's not, I'm thinking of Anastasia Beverly Hills, what modern Renaissance, but not. So I don't know. I'm going to try it. I guess I have it. I bought it. So I need to. I just feel like you got to be careful whenever you're using pinks and reds because you don't want to look like you have pink eye or look like you're sick. So I feel like this would be one of the palettes that I would have to use with something else darker to kind of help, you know, make it more neutral in the crease and smoke it out maybe with a darker brown just so it doesn't look like I'm sick. Next, I'm excited to have this one. I got this from BoxyCharm, so I did not have to pay full price for it. This is the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Palette. I've heard so many people talk about how much they love this. And I need another nude palette, like I need a hole in my head. But because I love Lunar Beauty's formula, and everybody said this was so good, I didn't want to have FOMO again. This is very similar to the Strawberry Dreams and, I never get the name right, Eclipse whatever the smoky, cool-toned one was. Um, same packaging, but this is so pretty. And I've heard like people going nuts about the shimmer shades and the formula. Some of these shades are very similar, but I do feel like I could wear them all. So yeah, she's cute. And I got it on sale, which makes it even cuter. All right, down to the last stack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to count these. <laughs> I'm going to count them, but I know it's crazy. Next, I have the Too Faced Major Love Eyeshadow Palette. I picked this up and gifted one in a giveaway, but I also bought it for myself because I thought it was going to be super camo military. And I mean, I guess it kind of is. A little bit but not it eh, it's all right I haven't tried it yet I'm gonna bring it upstairs because I don't even know if I like it or not but I, I don't know what I expected this why you put a pink in there how does that even go I don't know if y'all can see how pink that is like it is pink why what is the point of a pink I don't know so yeah I'll try it though Next, I have the Lime Crime Prelude Exposed Palette. I have no excuse for buying this palette. It was on sale at Ulta. It's a cool toned color story. I don't think I have any Lime Crime shadows, and so that's my excuse. And she's cute. She's very cute. Um, Like I said, kind of cool toned. Gorgeous shades. I know nothing about this formula. I really don't know anything about the company. So you have me at sale. I have a single shadow. I'm going to just show y'all real quick. This is the Clarity Cosmetics Press Single Pan Multi-Chrome in You Grow Girl. So right now she looks pink. Then she goes to like a green. Y'all see it. Yes, you see it. I don't want to take it out the pack because I'm scared I'm going to drop it or do something stupid. But... I love pink to green, red to green, anything to green. So 
picked this up when I ordered this bad boy right here. This was my last purchase of 2022. This is the Croc palette. I wasn't going to get this. And I think I got it on the second round of orders. I didn't get it on the first. I'm a sucker for greens. Oh, I think this is the first time I've even looked at it. Y'all, uh, ooh, hairs, what you doing? Look how pretty this is. She's pretty. And I feel like I'm seeing some multi-chrome happening, duo-chrome happening right here. A little something. But I couldn't help it. It's a lot cooler toned than I expected, like this and this. Like, I feel like you could have put one little warm brown in there to help. That might be my only gripe, but I need to try it out. So I, she's not coming upstairs yet because I need to film my haul video. But after that, she will be coming upstairs. This is also another one that has been sitting waiting for me to film a haul video. This is the ColourPop On The List eyeshadow palette. I picked this up because the pictures on the website look like there is a shifty shade in here. And so I was like, okay, ColourPop, I see y'all trying to get with the times and match the trends. So uh, I hadn't even opened this. This is what she looks like. We got some greens, we got some cool tones. Which shade was supposed to be that one? That is supposed to be the shifty shade there. I hope you guys can kind of see that. So yeah, that is the main reason why I got this. I did get it on sale, y'all know me. But is there anything else like super special about this palette? Not really. I like the color story. Kind of reminds me of the Nubian Coral a little bit, maybe. Minus this bright berry pink at the bottom. So I don't know. Maybe that's why. But whatever. She's cute. I still have not used this palette. <laughs> Danessa Myricks Lightworks 3. I'm mad because I didn't get it when it came out. And paid almost double for it on Mercari. But I'm not mad because I wanted it. She is beautiful. I haven't used it yet though. I used the other one. Did a video. But this one I've kind of just been hoarding. So I need to use her at some point. Before she goes bad. At least that. But yeah. This was more collector in me. It's multi-chromes. It's indie brand. She is beautiful. This was another impulse buy at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This is the Glam Light Pizza Slice. <laughs> I got her because she's has greens. I'm not even gonna lie, that is it. There are some other Glam Light palettes I wanted to try, like the drinks collection that they had with the martini and the chocolate and the wine and all that stuff. I did wanna try that. Also the um, Hershey Kiss one, there were a couple palettes in there that I wanted to try, but I didn't buy them. Um, but I guess I need to figure out if I like the formula first before I buy more. So I feel like getting this one on sale and it being shades that I like would definitely help me. So cute, awkward to store, but very cute. Lots of greens, neutral shades. There's a black. So yeah, looks like a little pizza slice. Almost done. We have one, two, three, four, five more palettes. This is the Ace Beauté Floral Vintage Palette. Got this from BoxyCharm. Have not tried it yet. I think I remember what the color story looks like. And I feel like, of course, with floral, there were some greens in it. And so she was added, oh, to my collection. Not bad, but a lot more color than what I thought. She's cute though. I need to use her. I'm probably going to bring this one upstairs because I have not used it and I could see this going any kind of way. It could be a neutral day. It could be an orange day. It could be a pink day. It could be a green day. Lots of options. These next two palettes I bought together. There was a bundle on Natasha Denona's website for 4th of July, Black Friday. I don't know what I picked up the Circle Local palette. This is strictly for collector's purposes. I'm not even going to lie because when it came out, I don't think that I really wanted it. Like I wasn't just like, I have to have it. I thought about it, but it's one of her bigger ones that's $130. And I was just like, oh, that looks like it was broke. Um, I don't even think I opened this. I guess I did when I filmed my haul, but 
Have not used it yet. Gorgeous colors. It is definitely a palette that I would pair with something else. But yeah, she's cute. I just, if I would have had to pay full price for it, I wouldn't have picked it up. This next palette though, this was FOMO. I'm not even gonna lie. I, since I have gotten more into neutrals and cool tones and just the fact that I love Natasha Denona's formula, I've heard that this is her best palette and I didn't have it. So I felt like I was tripping. This is the Biba palette. So this came, this is so pretty. She is so basic in terms of being a nude palette, but it's absolutely beautiful. Like this and the Glam palette would be, if you weren't into colors, like all you would ever need from Natasha Denona and you would be set. But have not used this one yet. I think it is, did I need it? Probably not. Am I glad I have it? Yes. Next, I have the Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is her Lux Legacy Palette. I was not gonna get this. I felt like I didn't need it. And I have other Jaclyn palettes and I don't even know if I've tried them yet. But this color story got to me because it is neutrals and there are some greens and it also leans a little bit cool tone neutral. So that's what pulled me in. I thought that a lot of the shades were going to be too light to use, but I don't think that's the case. After seeing it in person, I got this 30% off for her birthday, I think back in July. And that's what made me buy it. I think I got this and then maybe one or two lip products, but there wasn't a lot from this set that I wanted. Last palette. And she's on the bottom just because how big she is. This is another Beauty Bay palette and this is the Jade. Yeah, Jade and Beauty Bay palette. I don't know why I bought this. I don't like big palettes like this. It's so pretty though. Oh my God, it is so pretty. It's big. It is freaking huge. Like every color in the rainbow right here. I think I just got it maybe because it was like super discounted and I was trying to not pay for shipping. Y'all know how we do with that. We would rather buy something else than pay for shipping. So yeah, she's cute, but haven't used it yet. And again, know nothing about the formula. So hope I like it. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I feel like I have been talking forever and it looks like based on how much time I have left on this SD card that it has been an hour and a half, <laughs> if that tells you anything. So those are all the palettes that I bought in 2022. It is only January 8th, but I have not bought a palette yet. <laughs> I have not bought anything and there is nothing that is out that I'm thinking about. Like, I need to get this right now. And honestly, especially seeing all this and knowing how many I haven't used yet, I need to stop. I need to stop. So I'm going to put these back where they go, which most of them go in my drawer of shame of palettes I have not used yet. And I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on using my palettes more. I hope you guys want to see some tutorials and reviews because that's what I need to focus on. So comment below. Let me know what you think. Did you think I was going to have more, less? I will count them and put how many I had in the description box because... I want to make sure I put these back right and I'll probably lose count. So thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.